Hey, mighty kids. My name is Professor Nozalat, and it is wonderful to see all of my friends again. Well, let's get started with Mighty Kids Digital. Welcome. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. All engine running. I wonder what today's lesson is about. Hey, Mighty Kids. Welcome back to another amazing Sunday on Mighty Kids Digital. I'm so glad that you're here. I'm glad that I'm here. I'm glad that God is here. Didn't we have such an amazing time last month learning all about freedom fighters? We learned about King David. I think we had John in there. It was it was amazing. We had Peter in there. Uh, and this month, our theme is... Drum roll, right? 
the power of forgiveness. Oh, I'm so excited. It's going to be such a great month. Say it with me. The power of forgiveness. So we're going to go ahead and read and get started with our lesson. Uh, hey, look, look who it is. Come here, Dwight. Say hi to everybody. Oh, come here. Let's see. <laughs> look, can you guys see him? There he is. Hi, Dwight. Oh, he's all dirty because he got into the... <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Okay. Okay, bye, okay, bye, bye, gotta go, gotta go. Dwight, bye, bye, bye. Oh, okay. All right, that was a little cameo from Dwight. Okay, here we go. So we are going to get into our lesson today. It's found in Matthew chapter 18, verse 21 through 35. And this is a parable. Remember, a parable is a story that Jesus would tell. So this is a parable. This is a Jesus story that he told about the unforgiving servant. Ooh, ooh spooky. The unforgiving servant. So let's go ahead and get started, okay? So you can turn your Bibles, if you have them, to Matthew chapter 18, and we're going to start in verse 21. Okay, here we go. We begin with Peter asking Jesus a question. He says, Lord, how many times shall I forgive my brother or sister who sins against me? Up to seven times? And in verse 22, Jesus answered, I tell you, not seven times, but 70 times seven. Or another version says 77 times. Wow, that is a lot of times to be to forgive someone, right? Think about it. If your little brother or little sister or friend or whatever took your toy or stole some of your food and like they did that 70 times in a day, the Bible says that you should forgive them because that's what Christians do. So Jesus is saying like, hey, you need to learn to forgive pretty much. It doesn't matter how many times someone messes around with you or whatever. You know, you've got to learn to forgive. you got to be forgiving. So let's continue. Jesus begins by saying, the kingdom of heaven, right? His heavenly kingdom is like a king who wanted to settle accounts with his servants, or pretty much he wanted to make sure that all of his servants had paid up their debts, right? Um, because they had borrowed money from him in the kingdom. This is how the story goes. As the king began settling his accounts or making sure that everybody was, you know, up to date on their bills, you know, um, there was a man that had borrowed, check this out, 10,000 bags of gold. Guys, 10,000 bags of gold. That's like me going to Disneyland and buying everything and saying, oh yeah, just put it on my credit card. Someone will take care of it. It's a, it's a lot of money, okay? He brought 10,000 bags of gold. This man, obviously, but sadly, was not able to pay back this really huge amount of money. So the king ordered that this man and his family be sold to pay off this debt. Crazy, right? Now think about it. This guy was very, very, very irresponsible to borrow that much money and not have plans to pay it back. So it was pretty much his fault. People can say, well, why was the king mean? It wasn't the king's fault. The king lent him this money and the guy was just not smart with it. This servant fell on his knees and he begged the king and said, be patient with me and I will pay everything back. The king felt compassionate towards this servant and canceled the debt that he owed and let him go. Woo, I gotta take a, take a drink of coffee for this one. The king canceled the debt, 10,000 bags of gold. And he's like, you know what? I feel sorry for this guy. I'm gonna let him go. I'm gonna let him live with his family. What an amazingly compassionate king, right? Imagine how the servant who owed that much money must have felt. He probably felt so relieved um, because you know, there was, that's a lot of money, number one. And number two, his family was gonna have to pretty much go to jail because he didn't know how to, how to be a good steward of what was given to him. But the king forgave. Isn't that, that's a nice king right there. Later that same day, the servant found his fellow servant. So the one who owed a lot of money, he found one of his other servant friends and he gets him by the neck. He grabs him by the neck. He's like, hey, give me back all the money you owe me because the other servant owed him money. Give me back my money. I need money right now. Pay me back what you owe me, the servant said to him. And in verse 29, it says, the fellow servant, so the friend of the guy who owed a lot of money, he fell to his knees, just like this guy did to the king, right? He fell to his knees and begged him, be patient with me and I'll pay you back, I promise. Just think about it. This man was telling the servant to please forgive him, just as the guy himself asked the king, hey king, can you forgive me? And the king did, but he was like not, you know, repeating that, that sharing in that goodness because he was forgiven, but he didn't want to forgive his friend. A little scary, right? The servant refused the man and he had his fellow servant thrown into jail until he could, he could repay him. So the servant who had a lot of money, he refused to give his friend, cut him a break. He's like, no, nah, no, nah, I'm going to call the cops on you. Call the cops. 
got him thrown to jail. Terrible. When the other people who were in the kingdom saw what took place, they were shocked. Like, oh my gosh, what a terrible situation. They went and told the master everything that had happened. The master called the servant and he said, you wicked servant, he said, I canceled all that debt of yours because you begged me to. Shouldn't you have had mercy on your fellow servant just as I had on you? The master was so upset and he handed the servant to be thrown in jail until the man could pay back what he owed. Then Jesus ended the parable saying, this is how my heavenly father, this is how God will treat each of you unless you forgive your brother or sister from your heart. So what Jesus was, he's painting a picture for us to see how it is when we don't forgive people sometimes. Because we might think, oh, that that servant that didn't forgive his friend, but he was forgiven, he's a bad person. Man, I'd never want to be like him. But sometimes when we don't forgive our brothers, our sisters, our, our, our friends, or even maybe sometimes our mom and dad, or I don't know, whoever, when we don't forgive them, that's like us doing what the servant did because God forgave us of all our sins, remember? He died on the cross for us. He went through all this pain and all this suffering. And sometimes we can't even get let people, like we can't let them go. Like the other guy, he's like, give me my money, give me my candy, give me my toy. And God's like, wait, but I forgave you all of your sins. You can't forgive this guy for one measly little sin? Come on, man. And that's how we have to see this story. That's what Jesus is trying to show us, that we have to be forgiving because God forgave us. We can learn from this parable that if someone wrongs us or treats us badly, we have to learn to forgive them. It's not gonna come easy, but we can learn. Because just like how God shows compassion to us when he forgives us, we need to be merciful to other people. Let's pray, we're gonna end our lesson. And like, I, I don't wanna end the lesson, I'm like, oh, this is a sad or this is a bummer, but it's more of a warning. You know, sometimes when your mom and dad are like, hey, don't eat the cookies before dinner or else, you know, Slap your hand or I don't know, whatever, you get in trouble. And if, you know, you're not going to want to do that bad thing because your parents are like, they warned you. And what Jesus is saying is like, hey, look, I'm warning you so you don't get into trouble. Don't do this. Don't be like this unforgiving servant. Instead, forgive like I forgive. So we're going to pray. Dear God, we thank you for this lesson today and for the teacher who wrote it and for everybody that's here, all the mighty kids. We ask that you bless and be with every mighty kid and their families watching today. Help us to use this parable to have a loving and forgiving spirit with others. Help us to forgive others that have wronged us because you have forgiven us when we wronged you. We thank you, God, for forgiving us when we mess up. We are grateful. In the name of Jesus, thank you for your forgiveness and your mercy. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Wow, I had a great time with you today. I hope you took a lot away from this lesson and I cannot wait to see you next week. But before we go, we're gonna to move to the next segment. Bam! Okay, my dear kids, I challenge you to draw the unforgiving servant. No, no, no. Is this thing still on? Oh, 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 there you are. <laughs> well, mighty kids, I had a great Sunday with you. We'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>